healthy watersheds are vital to healthy streams. However, unlike huge watersheds, the streams into which they flow are more easily testable. The Northern Virginia Soil and Water Conservation District's Rocky Stream Monitoring Program relies throughout the year on trained volunteers to track information on physical conditions, water quality, and living communities at selected stream sites. Hi, my name is Valerie Bertha, and I'm a certified volunteer citizen scientist who collects biological stream data following the protocol outlined by the Isaac Walton League of America's Virginia Save Our Streams program. The protocol outlines how often streams can be sampled, the proper equipment and techniques used to sample them, and how to calculate a stream score using the number and biodiversity and macroinvertebrate species sample. Since 2016, I have enlisted the help of family and friends to analyze the benthic macroinvertebrate at my designated site in Holmes Run Creek each season. Benthic means bottom dwelling. Macro means able to see with one's eyes. Invertebrate means without a backbone. My team collects aquatic insects and other life that cling to rocks or live in the rocky bottoms of the stream, collecting a minimum of 200 creatures each valuation. Our report provides a snapshot of the stream's health. Following the specified procedures for evaluating rocky bottom streams, monitors use approved tools and data collection processes. Using a 1,000 micron seam net to collect the benthic macroinvertebrates that cling to the rocks or bury under the stones, volunteers begin the exciting challenge of identifying and counting each critter. Whereas the larger creatures, such as the Dobson fly larva, called helgromites, are easily noted, others, such as the tiny riffle beetles, are more difficult to identify. Using hand lenses, microscopes, and field guides, volunteers record the type and number of each species found. Different species are tolerant of different levels of water quality. Their presence or absence helps government agencies and interested citizen groups determine the health of local streams. By comparing previous reports, scientists note trends and can effectively recommend steps to improve stream health. I've taught my team techniques for identifying dozens of species of beetles, worms, snails, and fly larvae. All the creatures are counted, even those that wiggle under the net. The team found stoneflies, which indicate good water quality, helgomites, which tolerate fair water quality, and leeches, which survive even in poor water quality. After the census, all animals are returned to the water, just where they were originally found. Hopefully. After tallying the numbers, we send a report, adding to the growing data provided by other volunteer citizen scientists. These citizen scientists make a difference in the health of their community. Would you like to make a difference? Do you agree that outside is the best side and we could all use some fresh outdoor air? Join other citizen scientists to help monitor your watershed and stream. You supply the energy, and the Northern Virginia Soil and Water Conservation District supplies the equipment and training you need. Become a part of your local solutions to global issues.